Look, I get it, this might seem dumb, but this will get you to $10,000 in Amazon FBA sales guaranteed. So what I'm about to tell you is not flashy or exciting, but if you stick with it, you're going to hit $10,000 mark faster than you think. And I've used this myself to go from zero all the way to over $100,000 in sales the past 30 days. It's definitely not luck and anyone can do this, and it's all about using these smart strategies, which I'm gonna show you so that way you can copy it. Because if you are tired of staying in the Amazon on a hamster wheel and getting a few sales here and there, this video is definitely for you. So if you skip this far, you can getting end up on what I call the Amazon hamster wheel. You know, where we're talking about, you're just getting the same sales, maybe here and there, and that's pretty much it. You flatline and you pretty much repeat the cycle from there. And that is the last place that you wanna be. But here's the good news. If you just dedicate an hour each day to this boring, but really important task, you're gonna get to the $10,000 mark faster than you think. And this strategy is called brand farming and this is one of the most important thing you can do to be successful when it comes to reselling an Amazon FBA. You might be asking why and the reason is that because everyone buys name brand products already. Think about you know Apple, Lego, Nike and just like Warren Buffett you know the most successful investor of all time he invests in business that are solid, reliable, have a good track history and that is the same reason these name brand products are beneficial for you to sell on Amazon because they have that track record they're proven themselves and you can use that to your advantage. So what is brand farming? Brand farming is simple but yet effective. The idea is to dedicate that hour each day to source and find these top brands that you can start selling and this is where really the boring part comes in. So my personal tip here to you guys is to definitely lean into something that you're interested in because this is where the boring hour each day you want to make sure at least you're somewhat interested. You know for example if it's sports, if it's beauty, makeup, so there's so many brands out there, especially with all these celebrities coming out one with Kylie Jenner, we got Rihanna, we got Lady Gaga. So that's why you want to collect the top 20 in each category that you wanted to look at because it's going to help you with the next step. By the way, guys, if you are finding value in this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It's going to help the YouTube algorithm here. And thank you again for subscribing. So the next step, we're going to naturally funnel and narrow down the 20 brands you have into the top three. And these should be the ones that you're most confident on that that people are going to buy no matter what the second they see about the brand. So you might be asking, Lester, why are we only picking three? Why only the top three? And the reason for that is you wanna make sure that the effort you're putting in actually pays off because it can take time to find, you know, the supplier, the distributor. So if you are going through a bunch of hoops, you know, calling them, emailing them, you wanna definitely make sure it pays off. So by narrowing the top three that you're super confident in, it's going to pay off with all the work that you're gonna put in. And to help you narrow down my tip here is to definitely do some research about the brand. Don't just go in there blindly because you might know about that product, but other people don't know, but the data definitely don't lie. Check their, you know, sales rank, right? You can use softwares like Keepa or SellerRamp to figure out the sales rank, the velocity of how many times that product or brand sells per month and other, you know, things like competition. How many people are you competing with if you do decide to sell this product? And lastly, we're going to go ahead and see where we can buy, you know, the top three products products that you decide to go on. And then we're going to go ahead and see where we can, you know, purchase the products of the top three brands that you've narrowed down. So this could be going online, finding them on sale. Maybe it's going in store like a retail arbitrage method, or it could definitely be a wholesale where you're reaching out to suppliers and distributors directly. And the key thing here is to definitely get ungated. If you didn't know, a lot of the new Amazon sellers are what they call gated. Basically, they are not approved to sell on Amazon for these big name brands right off from the bat because Amazon likes to protect the integrity of their marketplace, right? There have been so many issues in terms of counterfeit and fraud from, you know, new sellers that are just creating an account uh, after they're getting a negative review. So that's why Amazon wants you to get ungated or basically getting an approval before you can start selling these name brand products on your store. And if you don't know how to get ungated, check out the video I have on my channel. I basically walk you through step by step on how you can get ungated on big name brands brand products. So part two in this video is we're going to apply the value formula by Alex Hermosi here to get to your $10,000 in sales journey. So ideally our goal here is to reach the milestone number of $10,000. But at the end of the day, once you hit that, what are you going to do next? The goal is to definitely, you know, get bigger, right? Grow your team and scale the business overall. So here's the Alex Hermosi value formula.
formula that we're going to use and you can follow along. So let's talk about the dream outcome, aka your goal to hit the $10,000. And let's be real, you know, there's the excitement, the milestone that comes with it and potentially change your life. And really imagine what this looks like for you, whether that's $10,000 you are going to reinvest into the business or you're going to use this to potentially quit your full-time job and do this full-time. And for me, it was about starting my own business and quitting my nine to five job. So I definitely had that goal in mind aside from the $10,000 or the milestone number that you're trying to hit. This dream outcome of yours is definitely within reach, but in order to get there, you need a strategy that works. So then we're going to add the perceived likelihood of achievement of like how realistic is this going to happen? And here's the good news. The perceived likelihood that you're going to hit it is pretty high because you know, it's been done before. It's a proven method. And I told you I've done zero to a hundred thousand in sales the past 30 days. Think about this. You're not starting from scratch, right? Like you're not building a product that you need to go reach out from manufacturers in Asia where you need to, you know, get shipped to USA and big cargo container, none of that stuff. What we are doing here is basically looking for name brand products that people are already buying and reselling it on Amazon in order to make a profit. And that's how we're going to do it. So you need to be confident in doing this because there's not much unknown there. You know, it's simple as buying low and selling high. And again, thousands of people have done this method. So the next step is we're going to divide it within time. So we got our goal here. We got our perceived likelihood of achievement. We're going to divide it with the time and the effort sacrifice it takes. So let's talk about time and how long does it really take for someone to reach $10,000 mark and the key thing here is to make sure you have inventory because if you don't have inventory to sell on Amazon guess what you're not gonna have sales so you need to buy at least five thousand dollars worth of products or inventory that you are going to sell and that's how you can reach to your number of ten thousand dollars minimum it's kind of like running a marathon but without the training you know it's going to look like you're gonna run walk recover because you're tired and you're gonna repeat that, run, walk, recover. But if you constantly you know, practice or train beforehand, it's gonna look like you're running the whole time. At least that is the goal, right? That's why we practice. So by consistently you know, sourcing and doing the boring thing every single day and doing finding products and start buying, that's how you can really get the ball rolling and get the machine to slowly scale upon your business. And the beautiful thing about this, if you are doing Amazon FBA, is that you send everything to Amazon's warehouse warehouse and once they are available there any customers can order it right and the best thing is that it will get to their house pretty fast because of the Amazon Prime shipment since we're talking about time if you are doing Amazon FBA this is the most beautiful thing ever is that all your products are going to be at the Amazon's warehouse right so when someone orders from their laptop cell phone wherever it may be Amazon's going to ship it in your behalf so that's where the time really comes in because you don't have to prep and ship every single items Amazon will do it for you and of course you're gonna add this with effort and sacrifice and this is how you can really make the whole value come out because in reality once you get the Amazon FBA business all you're gonna have to do at the end of the day is kind of like managing it right there's not much really to learn aside from buying products and sending it to Amazon so what you need to avoid and learn is to avoid trends you know think about like the fidget spinners right like that was such a trend but guess what like who else is still buying that but if you constantly stick to what's been proven name brand products that's going to be around for years on the road that's where you can really make your effort and sacrifice worth it so the last part here is we're gonna put it together here and it starts with learning how to read graphs and data because that's going to be your superpower data is really a superpower you know imagine being able to predict what's going to happen in the future like that's the best thing you can do because you can prepare ahead of time, right? You can make awesome decisions in order to see where the future is going to be. So by being able to, you know, take advantage of how to read the data properly from softwares like Keepa or Celeramp, this is where you can really tell if a product is going to be a good buy, how many times it sells per month, what is the competition I'm looking at. So all in all, when you're putting this together, you're going to be able to predict and make smart decisions because you can really dig deep into a specific product, you know, for 
example, let's use this cup, right? You can see where the sales rank of how often it sells on Amazon, right? Like the price history of this, am I selling it at the highest peak of the price or am I selling at the lowest peak of the price? Another thing is you can also look at the competition. How many other sellers beside from you are selling it? And most importantly, if you decide to use the profit calculator from Seller Amp or Ace and Zen, something like that, you're gonna see how much profit you're gonna make before even purchasing the product. So that's why it's really important to learn and how to read a data properly. And definitely you can add it to the one of the boring lists since you're gonna be looking at the computer, but mastering this skill is just gonna give you such a huge unfair advantage, especially the more you master it. And guys, it's kind of like chess. The top professional chess players can see someone's move and everything on the table, you know, four or five moves ahead of what's currently going on. So if you get to that level in terms of Amazon FBA and can just look at a product, if it's going to be a good buy or not, that's gonna be such a superpower. I can't stress it enough. All right, guys, we're down here at the Keep a Graph, and we're gonna focus on the top part right here. So you can see on the orange, that is Amazon right here. So you can see there's two examples here where they went out of stock, where you have the blank thing there. And you might have guessed this is during the holiday season, like Christmas, because everyone is buying products, you know, for their kids, gifts, so on and so forth. So there's huge demand, and Amazon went out of stock. So, so you can see it happened first in 2023, then it happened again in 2024. We're seeing these trends, and guess what's gonna happen 2025 of Christmas is going to go out of stock again. So that is going to be a prediction that we're going to do based on the previous history. Another example here is a college algebra, right? This is a college book and college semesters has starts during the fall and during the spring. So if we look at the keep out without even seeing it, you can already guess there's going to be spikes within those two periods within the year because that's when semester starts. That's where students get back into sales. So you can see right here, we're going to folk, we're going to actually remove any of these stuff and we're going to focus on the sales rank okay as you can see right here just on the sales rank there's a pattern of going up and going down when it goes down that's where the demand really spikes up in terms of the semester and you can see it really happens twice a year so you can see right here january that's where everyone goes back from winter uh break then september august whenever the school starts is usually around the range you can see and this is such a predictable thing you can even go back in 2018 2019 right here same thing guys so this is where you can really predict and see the chess move of what's going to happen by learning how to read the graph. And the last boring thing you need to think about is to reinvest your profit. Yes, it is very boring and it can be the last thing you'd want to do, especially if you put in the hard work and effort. You don't want to cash out. You know, you're going to want to buy that new Porsche and flex on the Instagram or wherever you want to flex on that. You know, get you a new watch, get new clothes, right? It's so tempting, but the boring thing is, and the smart thing I would argue here, and so would Warren Buffett is, that you need to reinvest those in order to keep growing your pile then eventually once you get big enough you can maybe start enjoying the fruits of your labor here's the truth having you cash out and get distracted to buy all these fancy things it's not going to grow your business you know and this is how a lot of people really get stuck in the amazon hamster wheel because they take the profit that they were supposed to reinvest back in the business to really grow it because you know as warren buffett has done to himself best investor most successful investor of all time he doesn't sell his stock he's had the same stock that he owned for years and years and years that just keeps him growing and now yeah he can certainly cash out he wants but the idea is to keep it long term and just continue growing it and this is the reason why investing is crucial so let's say you start with five thousand right and you sell all your products and you made three thousand dollars in profit and you know it's definitely easy to think hey like i work hard i have made some money i got three thousand why don't i just you know take some of it out maybe i'll take two thousand and spend it but the biggest mistake here instead of having quote unquote eight thousand your five plus the three eight thousand to buy more inventory so you can get more profit you're only going to invest you know five thousand back or six thousand back and it just takes a lot longer and most beginners really makes this mistake which means the more you reinvest that money from the original five thousand then the faster you'll get to your goal of hitting the ten thousand dollars for your amazon fba business guys this is where the vision and purpose is really important because if you don't know what it is you're just gonna get distracted you're gonna be everywhere but if you have a purpose or a vision you're gonna say no to anything that's not going to lead you there so if your dream outcome is to really hit that ten thousand dollars then this boring strategy definitely works guys the path is laid out for you definitely take that action and if you want to learn more definitely check out our discord and subscribe to our free newsletter down below if you guys want to find the best wholesale suppliers or distributors definitely check this video out right here 
Thank you guys so much. Catch you in the next one.